Hey there, and welcome to the channel. With the recent firmware fiasco by Bamboo Lab, many have opted to disable their over-the-air updates and enable LAN-only mode to keep their third-party accessories, such as the X-Touch, working. With that said, do you have an X-Touch that received an over-the-air update, or you maybe came in one day to find your X-Touch screen flashing with a micro SD card icon at the bottom? If so, this video may be for you. The first thing you'll want to do is get your printer's IP address by going into the settings and WLAN, as well as retrieving the access code. Then, also in settings, under device, you'll need to retrieve your serial number. You'll need all this information later. Next, power down your printer, or if your X-Touch is self-powered, power it down. Remove the micro SD card and put it into a micro SD card USB reader. Next, plug the reader into your computer and open it up. Open up your browser and navigate to https colon forward slash forward slash experiments dot in forward slash xtouch dash bin forward slash local only dot html. From here under xtouch local only setup, enter your Wi-Fi SSID, your Wi-Fi password, and adjust your timeout and cold boot times if necessary. Under the BBL printer config, and this is Bamboo Lab, not Brazilian butt lift, Enter the information you noted earlier, which were the printer's IP address, the access code, and the serial number. For BBL printer type, click the field to choose your printer from the drop-down list. Mine is the P1S, so I'll choose that. And click Generate XTouch.json file. Choose your micro SD card as the destination, and click Save. If you don't feel comfortable entering this information at this site, you can create a text file instead with a JSON extension and fill in the respective fields with your info, just like you see here on the screen. Then, for printer model, enter C11 for the P1P, C12 for the P1S, 3D printer X1 for the X1, 3D printer X1 carbon for the X1C, N2S for the A1, or N1 for the A1 mini. For ease, you can find this template in the description below. Next, safely eject your micro SD card from your computer. Pull the micro SD card out of your reader, then reinsert into your X-Touch, and power your printer or X-Touch back on. As you can see, the flashing has stopped and the micro SD card icon is now a power icon. The X-Touch then goes through its boot cycle. And we're back in business. I hope this helped anyone else with this issue. If it did, hit that like button to help others find it. Thanks for watching.